Hey everybody, Patton here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Sega CD games on your mini system. But first, a quick recap on how to mod your mini. You open up Hatchy CE, go to your kernel tab, then install repair. Click yes on the next window, plug in your mini to your PC, while holding reset, power on, and Hatchy will do the rest. Once you see the green light in the bottom left corner, you are good to go. First thing we want to do is add RetroArch and the core to our mini system. So let's go to our modules tab and to the KMFD Mod Hub. Go to the KMFD RetroArch tab, select your version of RetroArch, then click Download Module. Next, go to the KMFD Cores tab, scroll down until you get to the Sega systems. You do have a couple choices here, Pico Drive Extreme or Genesis Extreme GX. I prefer Genesis Extreme GX. It's worked fine for me in the past, and I've had no issues with changing disks. So we're going to select Genesis Extreme, and once again, Download Module. Close out the Mod Hub, go back to your Modules tab, and install extra modules. Put a check mark next to Genesis Extreme and Richwork, then click OK at the bottom. Next, we're going to add our BIOS files. You will need these files to run any Sega CD games. To add your files, go to your Tools tab and click on Open FTP Client. We're going to navigate to ETC, Libretro, and System. This is the folder where you're going to place your BIOS files. You can just click and drag them in. You also want to make sure your BIOS files are spelled exactly like this with the same punctuation and capitalization on the letters. Capital C D E J N U dot bin. They have to look exactly like this. Close the system folder and now we can add our games. You want to make sure that you're getting games that are either in CHD or bin Q format. RetroArch doesn't recognize MP3 files and unfortunately you're going to find a lot of ISO MP3 combinations online. I got lucky and I found CHD files which is really nice. But just like anything else, highlight your games, drag them directly into Hackchi. This screen will sometimes pop up automatically for you, that's just so you can assign the games to a specific core. But in the case that doesn't happen, this is how you get back to that screen. Highlight your games one more time, right click, and go to Select Emulation Core. Highlight your games on the next screen. Select Sega Mega CD, Sega CD. And at the bottom, this is very important. You want to select the Genesis Plus GX Core. For some reason, I was having some issues with the Extreme GX. The games would restart when a video file would be playing, but I did not have that problem with the Genesis Plus GX Core. So make sure that is the one you have select. Then click Apply and Close. You'll see that your games don't have any box art or description. You'll have to add that yourself. An easy way to do this is to highlight your games, right click and go to scrape selected games. On the next screen, click your game, then select which version of the box art you want. Click OK when you're done. Now you'll see at the bottom, these games take up a lot of space, more space than the minis have on board. You will have to use external storage for this. All you have to do is make sure that your USB flash drive is plugged into your PC then click export to USB. Select the drive that you're going to be exporting your games to, then click OK. You'll get this done message once it's completed. Now remove your flash drive from your PC, plug that into your OTG cable, plug the power cord into your OTG cable, then plug everything into your mini system. We're going to power on the SNES Classic and take a look. All right, I see we have both of our discs for Night Trap and we have Snatcher. Let's start with Snatcher. There's our BIOS screen. Game loaded up fine. Let's hit new game. And we're in. Now on to Night Trap. I'm going to start with CD2 intentionally so I can show you how to change discs within Retwork. The game's booting up as normal. Little intro sequence. And then we get the notification to insert CD1 and press start. To do this, we're going to hold select and push start. And at the very bottom of this quick menu, you see a disk control option. Go into that option. And at the bottom you have load new disk. Now what you can do in Hackchi, you can add the second disk to this same folder, but we didn't do that. So we're gonna go back one spot and go into the folder with our first Night Trap disk. It should be this one right here. We go down to Night Trap CHD, and then we select insert disk at the top.
and the game starts. And that's all there is to it. I'll put my BIOS files and external storage videos in my description below for a little extra help. If you still need assistance with any of this, you can go to the Rockin' the Classics Discord server or subreddit for help. And that's all I got for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.